What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a Stranger Things style title sequence. There may be some plugins in this tutorial that you might have to download, so I'll leave the link for all the downloads below. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually use a title plugin that already comes with Final Cut Pro and it's called the Atmosphere title. So if you go to your titles tab up here and then you can search it, but it's already come up there. so. I'm just going to select that and drag it into my timeline and straight away I'm going to get rid of the background and I'm going to put in the title. So the font you want to use for this is called um, Benguit, this one right here and I'll leave the link to uh, the free download of that in the description. I managed to find it on uh, Google somewhere. Okay, and then let's zoom in a little bit and you just wanna to go to the end of your title sequence. And let's just make it a bit bigger. So it fills the screen. Let's bring it a bit closer together. And let's tweak the line spacing a little bit so they're a bit close together. Okay, cool, so that's the start of the title. The next thing we're going to do is go down to 3D text and I'm going to put the depth right down to uh, 1 and then on the front edge I'm going to select this and I'm going to pick square ring and then on front edge size you just want to click that arrow and then you can make the width a bit bigger as well just like that and then let's go to material so I'm just going to click basic and then I'm going to go to add layer, click substance, generic and on the substance, oh no we want to get rid of this one. Okay so on the stu substance you want to turn this black and I'm going to add another layer, I'm going to go to finish, polish and I'm going to turn the reflectivity up to 300. Okay, I'm going to add another layer and this one will be Distress, Dirt and I'm going to choose Dirt 3 on this one. Okay, so one more layer and you want to click the Emit layer and this is going to give it that like glow and we're just going to change the colour to red on this. Just like that and that is the title done. So I'm going to go out of here and the next thing I'm going to do is add the lines that come out on the title. So I'm going to go to my generators tab just there and I'm going to search for shapes. I'm going to bring a shape down. So let's go up here to the parameters and you just want to turn it into a rectangle. Uncheck fill and just get rid of the drop shadows and stuff like that and then click the transform tool and we're just gonna stretch it so it's as wide as the title and then stretch it that way and then move it above here. And you want to make the width as wide as the uh, text. So I'm just gonna make the width a bit wider right there. And what that's gonna do is give these weird like long bits on the side here. So to get rid of that, I'm just gonna go back into the like video settings and go to crop. I'm gonna crop it on the left and that's going to get rid of those weird long bits on the end and then do the same on the right and when you're adding these shapes you want to make sure you're at the end of your title because the title sort of moves um, all the way to the end so you want to make sure that it's all lined up nicely okay i'm just going to copy and paste that and on top of each other okay and before i add the little lines in there i just remembered we need to make the s and the r a lot bigger so to do that you just want to click on your title sequence go up here and just highlight the s and then we're going to make that bigger whilst it's still highlighted i'm going to put the baseline down so it moves down okay that looks pretty good and then i'm going to copy and paste those settings to the r as well okay cool so that looks okay the next thing i'm going to do is finish off these lines so i'm going to drag this one down here 
I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Before I copy and paste this one and put it on that side, I'm actually going to add the fade in effect that is on the title. So I'm going to start with the top one. To animate these in, I'm going to use a mask. So go down to your effects and go to masks. I'm going to use a shape mask. I'm going to make this really small. I'm going to go over here to transform. I'm going to press, I'm going to go to the beginning of my shape and I'm going to click these keyframes right here. Okay, now I'm going to go to the end of my title. Actually, I'm going to go about half halfway and I'm just going to put the scale up until the lines are revealed. So just like that. And now if we play that back, got that line animating on. So I'm going to do the same to this little one here. I'm going to add a shape mask. I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to hit all these keyframes here. And I'm going to move along, not to the end, but just to, to about there and make that bigger. Oh, well, actually I didn't make it smaller in the first place. So I'm going to make that smaller. You want to go from zero to reveal it right there. Let's see that. Okay, cool. And you can just change the timings of these by moving the shapes backwards and forwards. And that looks right. So what I'm going to do now is just copy and paste this little side line and then click the transform tool and just move it over to the other side. Okay, so that's all of the lines done. I'm just going to trim all these up right here just so it's a bit tidier. And now we're ready to add a couple of effects to the font and stuff like that to make it glow and give it that neon effect. Okay, so now I'm gonna add an adjustment layer over all of this so that we can just add the effects and color to the adjustment layer so that it just adds it to all of these and we don't have to do it separately. So I'm gonna go to my titles tab, adjustment layer and if you, uh, I'll leave the download link for the adjustment layer below. The first thing I'm gonna do is add an image mask to this adjustment layer. So go over here to your effects, go to masks again, image mask, and I'm just gonna add that on there. I'm gonna go up here to generators, and I'm gonna use this cloud generator right here. And I'm literally just gonna drag that to the side because we don't actually need to use it. Uh, we just need to add it onto our image mask right here. So I'm gonna go back to my adjustment layer, go to the image mask effect we just added, click on this little drop zone, and I'm gonna select the clouds. And then I'm gonna click source channel, luminance. And that's gonna give it like that bright and dark effect. So the next effect I'm gonna to add to my adjustment layer is called emit. And I don't think this comes with Final Cut Pro, so I'll leave the download link for this plugin below. And you just want to save this in your motion templates effects folder because it's an effect. So I'm just going to add that onto here. And it's basically just like a really good glow effect because the glow effect in Final Cut Pro like is, is really bad. So what you want to do is actually move the glint above the image mask effect. Otherwise it's going to look really weird. Um, and it won't work properly. So I'm gonna put the glow amount up so we get that nice glow around the title. I'm gonna put the exposure down slightly. You can like mess with these settings and get your own kind of look to it, but that looks pretty good as it is. Now what I'm gonna do is actually select all of these and turn them into a compound clip. And I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit you can actually retime the title. Uh, you can slow it down, it'll still play back really smooth. So I'm just going to select my title, hold down Command, press R, and I'm just going to slow it down because it's a bit too quick at the moment. And then I'm even going to add a little speed ramp 
and slow this down even more at the end and I'm gonna fade it out. So what I'm gonna do now is add the kind of like slow zoom out effect. So for that, I'm gonna select my clip. I'm gonna to go to the beginning, press the transform tool, hit the keyframe button, and I'm just gonna bring the scale right up, just like that. And then I'm gonna to go to the end. I'll just get rid of this for now. And then I'm gonna put the scale back down again to about there and then I'm going to fade it out. So now we've got like a, oh and if you ever wonder why there's like crop lines then that is just your image mask. Reset that. Okay cool so that's the last part done and now to add to add like the really close up close ups of the letters and stuff like that before this bit what we're going to do is let's zoom out a little bit here all i'm going to do is go into this i'm going to copy and paste the original title and i'm just going to paste it onto the timeline right here i'm going to click on the title and then the little blue arrow i'm just going to select that and zoom right in until we get like really close up on some of the letters. Then I'm gonna turn this into a compound clip so we can slow it down. Okay, so I've just slowed down that clip of it like fading in. Cool, and there you go, that is the finished title. I will leave the link for the Glint plugin below and also the links for the font and the clouds and the adjustment layer. What I've also done is put together a project file with the finished title so that you can change it and everything. And I'll put the link for that down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.